Hey folks, Reviewing Mick Review Face here, and I wonder, have you ever thought coffee just wasn't quite hipster enough? That's right, so I'm out here today, uh, out in Nose Hill Park here in Calgary, some beautiful fall weather, and uh, I could really use a cup of coffee this morning, but, uh, you know, packing in a whole coffee brewing apparatus can be a bit of a pain. And I do enjoy a good, fun cup of coffee. So this morning, I'm going to be testing out the Bripe. The coffee pipe comes in this nice little kit. So you get a little tube to hold your coffee, a thermometer to check the temperature, a stand to keep it standing, a lighter to light it up, and of course the Bripe itself. So the Bripe, it looks like your traditional kind of corn cob pipe. It's uh, just a little copper pipe. It comes in this lovely felt carrying case. It's just an all copper construction, so it's nice and easy to heat up. On the inside, you have the filters that keep the grounds from going anywhere. So what you do is you uh, put the filter in place, pop in the thermometer, like so. Fill it up with some of your favorite coffee. This morning I've got some finely ground Indonesian medium roast from Calgary Heritage Coffee Roasters. Really great place. Uh, they recommended this one just because they think in this particular setup it'll probably uh, do a better job of showing off the flavor. So we're going to put in a little bit of our coffee here. All right, and one thing I want to talk about, and this is something I tested when I got back home, was the effects of different sizes and types of grinds on the Bripe. Now, we're working with the Calgary Heritage Roasting Company coffee here. It's their Indonesian Medium Blend. It's a beautiful coffee. I highly recommend it. And we got the unground beans so that we could bring it home and test out a few different types of grinds. So here we have three different types of grinds. We've got a very rough grind, and that's meant for percolators, uh, so as you can see, very rough. In the middle is a grind that you would typically use in a normal drip coffee maker. Uh, very middle of the road grind. And then on the far side here, we have an espresso grind. So very fine, powdery, easy to compact. Now the Bripe has three different filters within it. So the thing you want to keep in mind is depending on what size of grind you want to use, the Bripe does have a filter in place that helps you to get the best flavor out of it. So whether it's the percolator, whether it is your medium grind, or whether it is the grind for an espresso, make sure you've got the filter twisted to the right side so you get the best flavor experience. All right, and then we just take our plain water, dump that in, just about fill it up, give that a quick stir, and then very carefully holding the cork portion, we start firing this up. So now we've got the coffee up to temperature. It's gonna let it brew for a second here. And just leave it there. So the nice thing is it's got this little holder that keeps it so you don't have to touch anything to make sure you're not going to burn yourself. Because this kit, you really could burn yourself very carefully. So you've got to be a little cautious. So what they say, get it up to brewing temperature and then let, and then just watch the thermometer to let it cool back down to the appropriate drinking temperature, which takes a little while. But it's a nice little ritual, I think. Uh, you know, rather than bringing out something where you have to start a big fire to get a cup of coffee. This is something nice you can just kind of stick into a backpack and have a little sip of coffee wherever you are. The one thing is obviously this only makes enough for one person and it really just makes a shot of espresso. So we're almost down to temperature. The one thing you want to keep in mind with this lighter, now this lighter comes with the Bripe kit and there is no lock on this. So if you've just got this sitting in a backpack and the button gets pressed, you get a little flame. So be cautious with that. You may want to, if you're traveling a lot, maybe leave it empty and then just fill it with butane as you need it. And the other thing, of course, it does get really hot the amount of time it takes to heat up the cup of coffee. So you'll want to press, set it down somewhere uh, where it's not going to start a fire just from the heat of the lighter. So I think we're almost down to temperature. Again, being very careful not to touch any of the brass part here but we can just kind of stir things around. And it does lo look lovely and it smells great. Uh, and it is a really, it's, it's difficult though. Uh, yeah, if you're holding it, just remember not to touch anything here. So I think we're down to just about where we need to. So the one thing they recommend is uh, 
Don't just sip. What you want to do is blow a couple of little air bubbles into here. Just little ones. You don't want to splash in your own face. Uh, just to clear the filter. And then from there, take a sip. Mm. So the one thing I'm finding, because I've got this ground down to espresso, is I do get a bit of a grittiness um, because it's like drinking the bottom of a cup of espresso first. But you get all the flavor, like the flavor is huge on that. And again, you're draining the water back down through all the grounds. Mm. So that is a nice little hit of espresso without having to start a fire or visit the local Starbucks. Now, it's, is it gimmicky? Absolutely. Is it pretty hipster? Only if you drink your coffee before it's cool. But if you're looking for something that you can stick in a backpack or a pocket and have an instant shot of espresso in a different and unusual way, maybe you need to brape up. But hey, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm, a, I'm just enjoying the fall weather with a nice pipe of coffee. I guess you could say it's piping hot. I'm reviewing McReview Face. I'll see you next review. I just wanted the hiking and sipping shot. This is the hipsteriest video I've ever shot of myself.